niente, Miss Torrens. Su, Tony, non parlerai sul serio. Sì, non ci voglio andare, Miss Torrens. C'è un motivo perché non vuoi. Sì, che non voglio. Well, let's just wait and see. We're all gonna have a real good time. Bill, I'd like you to meet Jack Torrance. How do you do? Bill, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Grab a chair, Bill, join in. Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this winter. And I'd like you to take him around the place as soon as we're through. Fine. Jack is a school teacher. Uh, formerly a school teacher. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Um, teaching's been more or less a way of making ends meet. Well, this ought to be quite a change for you. Well, I'm looking for a change. Our people in Denver recommended Jack very highly, and for once, I agree with them. Let's see, where will I? I was, you know, about to explain that um, our season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th, and then we close down completely until the following May. Do you mind if I ask why you do that? Uh, seems to me that the skiing up here will be fantastic. Oh, it sure would be. The problem is the enormous cost it would be to keep the road to Sidewinder open. It's a... It's a 25-mile stretch of road. It gets an average of 20 feet of snow during the winter, and there's just... there's no way to make it economically feasible to keep it uh, clear. When the place was built in uh, 1907, there was very little interest in winter sports. And this site was chosen for its seclusion and scenic beauty. Well, it's certainly got plenty of that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Le hanno spiegato quelli di Denver presa poco in che consiste il suo lavoro? Si sono tenuti molto sulle generali. Ah, 